The parole evidence rule excludes external evidence that contradicts the terms of a valid written contract. However, numerous exceptions exist to this general rule. In Pym v. Campbell, the Queen's Bench considered whether evidence of an oral agreement was admissible to show that a written agreement never became a binding contract. Robert Campbell and John Pym negotiated a purchase price for a percentage of the rights in Pym's invention. Campbell scheduled a meeting to get Pym's invention approved by two of his engineers, Mr. Ferguson and Mr. Abernathy. Pym was late to the meeting, and Abernathy had to leave before Pym finally arrived. Ferguson heard Pym's presentation and approved the invention. In the interest of efficiency, Campbell and Pym signed a written agreement stating that Campbell would pay Pym 800 pounds in exchange for 37.5% interest in Pym's invention. Pym and Campbell orally agreed that the written agreement was subject to Abernathy's approval. After seeing the invention, Abernathy didn't approve it. Campbell refused to pay Pym, claiming their agreement wasn't binding, and Pym filed a claim for breach of contract. At trial, Campbell presented evidence of the oral agreement that the engineer's approval was required for the written agreement to become a binding contract. The jury returned a verdict in Campbell's favor. Pym obtained a rule nisi for a new trial on the grounds that evidence of the oral agreement shouldn't have been admitted. The case came before the Queen's bench, 